Hello YouTube and welcome to your second Java tutorial for dummies and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to um, install the JDK okay so um, if you're on Mac or Linux then there's no need to install the JDK and um, because it, it comes built in to your operating system but if you're on Windows um, you want to have that installed. Now if you're not sure if you have it installed yet, like if somebody else uses your computer, there's one way you can check check this. Type in CMD and press enter and you can see the command prompt will come up. And if you type Java C for Java compiler and you press enter and a whole bunch of this stuff comes up, then you already have the JDK installed. But if it says that the command is not recognized or something other than this, then you do not have um, the JDK installed. So um, basically what the JDK does is it allows your computer to um, create, compile, and run Java applications. Now if you're in your browser, uh, you don't have to have the J JDK to run Java applets and JavaScript and stuff like that. But if you want to create your own apps, then you need the JDK. So to do this, just go ahead, open up your internet browser, and go to java.sun.com and it'll show you this website called Oracle so what you want to do is you want to go to the downloads panel and under popular downloads click Java for developers and what you want to do is you want to download Java FX which is the JDK plus the Java FX bundle so just click on that and click download and then just type to agree and um, you can register um, you have to register to get it and uh, they won't send you any emails I don't think I've ever gotten any emails except for like maybe one or two um, talking about major updates or something like that so go ahead uh, make sure your platform and your language are right sign up and download it so then after you downloaded it it's just like installing anything else you're just going to click next 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 through everything until it's finished and then once it's, once it's finished there's one more step that you have to do so to get the um, Java compiler working right after you install it it still will not bring up all this stuff in your command prompt if you type Java C it won't work after you just install the JDK there's one more step so what you want to do is you want to go to start computer go to your C drive and go to program files x86 now if you don't have a program files x86 or you don't see the Java folder inside of your program files x86 then it'll be in your program files folder so go ahead and open that up go to Java JDK um, the JDK that you have the folder right there and then click on bin now you'll see a whole bunch of files in here uh, you're not going to be opening any of these basically what you want to do is you want to right click on anything inside of this directory right here and click on properties and you'll see the location of it right here so basically what you want to do is you want to copy that location so copy it and then click OK so now that you have that copied come down here right click on my computer and click on properties now what you want to do is you want to go to advanced system settings and under advanced system settings go to environment variables and you'll see temp and TMP path won't be there path is what you're going to create so basically what you want to do is you want to click on new and the variable name is going to be path and then you just want to right click and paste what you copied um, C colon backslash program files x86 Java JDK uh, your JDK version and then bin uh, which is just that directory and then click OK uh, I'll click cancel because I already have that and then click OK on that and then click apply down here and then OK uh, close out of your um, properties your um, this window right here and then come down to your command prompt and hold on when you're in your command prompt and you type Java C it'll show up all this stuff and that means that you had the JDK installed successfully 
So there's one more thing that you need to do to start developing Java applications. What you're going to need is called a compiler, which is just a program where you type in all of your code and then um, you can run it through there. Now you can do it with text files and stuff like that, but it's just a pain and it's better to have a compiler. So go ahead, open up your internet browser and go to the website eclipse.org. Now there will be links to the downloads um, in the descri description except for the JDK because okay never mind there won't be links to the download because everything in here is subject to change and updates are going to be coming out and you don't want to be downloading an older version so uh, just follow the instructions in the tutorial so go to downloads and come down here and click on Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers so you'll see this right here and what you want to do is you want to download the one of the windows or if you're on Mac or Linux if you have if you have leopard or snow leopard on Mac then get uh, Cocoa 64 anything else I'd recommend getting 32 and if you know you're running 64-bit operating system go ahead and download that and if you're not sure download the 32-bit just to be safe and then if you're on Linux you should know so go ahead and download that um, and install it and just click next 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 and then um, you're ready to start developing Java applications so thanks for watching and don't forget to comment like and subscribe